Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and check it out. So as you can see, I'm doing a new kind of camera setup. So uh, the walking chair that I usually make these videos for, hang on, let me move this chair a little bit. It's too close to the... It's too close to this big... Oh, shoot. Sorry, hang on. The, the thing fell over. Yeah, this is kind of not the safest, you know, camera setup. I'm just trying to, you know, attempt to make this work, you know what I'm saying? But I'll figure it out. Hold on. Okay, there we go. This is a new setup, as you can see, because, uh, well, my rocking chair, where I usually make my videos in, it's full of stuff because, uh, this, this past two weeks, you know, we had water going off because, uh, when it got super, super cold one day, unfortunately, the, uh, the water pipe cracked, so we needed to get it replaced. Uh, it's only half finished, but it's good enough to where we have our water back on, so that's good. But, you know, all my old stuff, like old toys I have from, like, you know, when I was a young child, they're all in the butt basket and stuff, and it's on my rocket chair, so I can't sit down on it right now, so this is just the only chair I could sit in, you know what I'm saying? So, this is about all I can get. So, any, so this is going to be how I might do videos, maybe just for now, until maybe it's back, or I might still continue, or maybe I might try to do it like this, maybe just to see how this works compared to me being in the rocket chair, even though the rocket chair is more peaceful, but... This looks kind of cool too, you know, just chilling right here, you know, this is where I usually play my video games in too, which is it's really a gaming chair, so, there you go. So this should be interesting, so I'm doing another voice comparison reaction video, so I just thought I'd explain my setup before I get into the video, and I'm doing another Marvel character, as you know, I'm going into the Marvel characters, and, uh, the last character I did was the Falcon, Sam Wilson, and I figured, since because I did mention the series in the, in the previous video, where, you know, I talked about... Uh, Sam Wilson about his current Disney Plus series along with Bucky Barnes the Winter Soldier called the Falcon and the Winter Soldier I figured why not go right on ahead and do the Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes next for voice comparison So if this is the next character I will be doing a voice comparison to Bucky Barnes the Winter Soldier Now what do I have to say about him another great character how he went from being a villain to a hero uh, I don't know if he counts as an anti-hero or not. I don't know But Bucky's a great guy, you know, he's how he started off at such a legacy when he was just a young, small child, being Captain America's psychic, and then thought to be believed to have died. Apparently, turned out he survived uh, of the fall, and then he loses his arm, unfortunately, and then he gets a new, I think it's an adamantium arm, if I'm not mistaken, or vibranium arm, no, vi vibranium arm, excuse me, I meant to say vibranium, sorry, adamantium's Wolverine's thing. A vibranium arm, if I'm not mistaken, and it's pretty awesome, you know, his arm was... You know, it's very, it's a very powerful, you know, thing, you know, it's, I don't really have a lot to say, I just don't watch that much Marvel anymore, because I don't watch a lot of TV series or movies much anymore, unless if I see a movie that's coming to theaters, I'd be interested in watching it then, but you know, but still, overall, this character is pretty awesome, his arm is really badass, you know, I can't really say much else, he's another great character, how he went from being Captain America's young sidekick to then growing up becoming an assassin when he was a villain originally, he uh, grew his hair out, he gets a new mask, and he becomes a villain to verse Captain America, and even really grew on to have such more skills as Winter Soldier can even face Captain America one-on-one, -on -one, you know? It's pretty awesome. And then Sue, because obviously the only reason he couldn't remember Captain America was because he kept getting his brain washed by the assassins he was with as a villain, so they kept erasing his memory to remember that he was Captain America's buddy and sidekick. But soon, his memory started coming to be once the assassins quit erasing his memory. And, you know, Bucky was able to finally remember who he was as a young guy. That he was Captain America's sidekick, and he knew him. And so then he eventually turned good, and he teamed with Captain America. And then he soon becomes a hero. And I think even at, at one point, I think he even joins the Avengers. So then Winter Soldier turns good. And which is pretty much how he currently stands in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, you know, and pretty much even in Avengers Endgame as well. So he's now a good guy, you know, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier was a great Disney, Disney Plus series. It was pretty awesome. As from what I heard, he's a good guy. And apparently to even top it all off, he even cut his hair short like the way how it used to be when he was Captain America's sidekick, which is a good way of showing how he's a good guy. You know, he cuts his hair short the way it used to be, even though it doesn't matter if he did or not. I'm still, you know, rather or not if I like the Winter Soldier better with long hair or short hair, because he's usually supposed to be known for long hair, especially when he was a villain, but even when he did turn to the good guy, he still had long hair, but, you know, I just don't know. It's kind of hard for me to tell. It's hard for me to know if I like him better with long hair or short hair, because he had short hair when he was just Bucky Barnes as a sidekick. 
he uh, had long hair when he grew to become the Winter Soldier, and then, you know, even when he, when he joins the Avengers and stuff, he still does have long hair, and then at some points he cuts his hair like he does in the MCU, and now he's back to short hair days, resembling the days of the past when he used to team with Captain America in Germany. So, I really just find I like how he cut his hair short, because after, you know, he remembers who he is, because, you know, it really just shows off that he's a hero, you know what I'm saying? Even though looks don't always matter, but, you know, with him cutting his hair short again currently in the MCU kind of really helps to resemble him that he's now a good guy and, you know, he's not bad anymore. Even though, of course, he did do some bad things when he was originally an assassin when his memory was being erased, you know what I'm saying? So, it was kind of sad, you know. If you if you haven't seen the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, you should check it out. It's a pretty good series. And, yeah, so there's not really much else left to say, you know. I really don't know if I like him better with long hair or short hair. I can only say maybe when it comes to him being a villain, he looks good with short with long hair. And then maybe when it comes to him being a good guy, maybe he looks better with short hair. I don't know. For me, personally, I'm used to be used to him with long hair. But nowadays, I'm actually starting to get used to him with short hair just because of how he currently stands in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I'm actually one of those fewest people that's starting to get used or kind of actually I'm starting to prefer Bucky better with short hair. So... I guess if I admit that, I guess I can admit that. I'm actually starting to like Bucky a little more with short hair currently just because it resembles his good guy side, you know? Even though it doesn't always matter, but... And I'm just realizing how long my hair is. I could probably cosplay as Bucky Barnes as Winter Soldier if I was to. <laughs> I said I was going to dress up as Spider-Man again next year since I got the costume uh, last year, and I was maybe going to dress up as him again, but maybe I could perhaps maybe change the costume design. I don't have to be Spider-Man again. Or it could be both. You know, maybe I could, maybe if I was attending Halloween parties, maybe one point I could dress up as Spider-Man, and then another I could be the Winter Soldier. I don't know why. I've recently been starting to think about, what if I become the Winter Soldier for next year's Halloween, just because I already got the hair, and I don't plan on cutting my hair any shorter, so... I don't know, but I'm probably still gonna stay Spider-Man. I don't know. I'm just, I just get so much imagination, because, you know, I'm autistic, so, you know, I get a lot of imagination going on, so... I, I imagine a lot of things, you know what I mean? Which is a good way of even showing how my imagination will come to play when Alex and I work on our series, on our future YouTube series, Real World, Real World Meets Equestria Girls, which I know I've explained to that plenty of times on this channel, as well as my second channel as well when I started it. So be on the lookout for that, because I am still, you know, me and Alex are hoping to still guarantee we can start filming this year in 2023. So really sure hope we can find a we can start working on our series and start filming for the first time because Alex and I are really looking forward to making this series, you know, and I hope y'all look forward to it as well and y'all check it out when it's on YouTube, Real World Meets Equestria Girls. Of course, we can't confirm anything about when it's going to be released yet, not until we release a trailer for it. We are going to make a trailer and more, but anyway, back to the subject. So, other than what I just said about Winter Soldier, there's not much left to be said, so without further ado, I'm going to go out on ahead and get right into this. Quite a history with Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes and just like and just like I do in my previous videos I will be checking out Generation West's voice comparison video first and then I'll check out Behila 89s on his channel so this is Generation West's first obviously it's the Winter Soldier slash Bucky Barnes voice so I am a little curious to wonder how it's going to be like is it going to be just basically showcasing Bucky Barnes as just the Winter Soldier or will it showcase maybe a few voice actors that voiced Bucky when he was originally Captain America's sidekick when he was a kid and you know he had the original black mask and blue suit you know I wonder if it's going to showcase that as well I'm just curious to wonder um I can't I'm just really willing to hope that maybe they'll showcase both because you know, you gotta include everybody that's voiced Bucky, whether he was just Bucky Barnes as Captain America's psychic, or if he was the Winter Soldier. You gotta include both, you know, right? It takes a long history, so hope it, hopefully it'll showcase both of them when Bucky was a kid as just Captain America's psychic, and when he grows up and becomes the Winter Soldier. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it, anyway. Also, if you like this new camera setup that I got going on, uh, leave a comment down below, maybe if this is how you want me to do it from now on, even though I'm only just doing it because my rocking chair is messed up, but if you like this camera setup, uh, leave a comment down below if you like it, because maybe in the future, maybe I could do this more. I mean, I'm gonna have to do it for right now, but maybe if you want me to do this more in the future, just let me know, because this camera setup, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the view that I'm getting from right here, but it's still a good view, though, honestly. It's like looking up in my TV that I play for video games, so... But anyway, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. I should have started this like nine minutes ago, so I'm ready to get this out of the way. Sorry about that. That's one of my cats in there. There's an abandoned bathroom that's like in one of my rooms, but forget about it. So like John Cena and Triple H will always say, your time is up. My time is now. It's time to play the game. Let's go ahead and get right into this, shall we? The Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes voice comparison in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. This should be a good one. 
Okay, yep, it's gonna start. It's gonna showcase uh, Bucky Barnes, maybe just Captain America's sidekick, you can see from that picture. In case you're interested, Cap, our opponent's title is the Red Skull. Sure. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot Bucky was actually in Ultimate Avengers. You know, he just doesn't become Captain America's sidekick. You just don't see him as Captain America's sidekick. Like, he doesn't get his own chance to shine. He's just a normal soldier like the rest of the soldiers. But, yeah, I completely forgot about that. He is uh, in Ultimate Avengers. He just doesn't get showcased as Bucky as Bucky Barnes, the sidekick. You know, he doesn't wear the mask and all that. He's just a normal soldier. But, yeah, he was in Ultimate Avengers. I completely forgot all about that. It's hard to believe even James Arnold Taylor was actually the one who voiced him. John, James Arnold Taylor is a great voice actor. He's done a lot of iconic voices. It's hard to believe that he voiced Bucky, but you know what? He's got the voice for it. I love those movies anyway. I do love the Ultimate Avengers movie anyway, so I'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up. This was the only movie he appeared in. Uh, Bucky didn't appear in Ultimate Avengers 2, just to let you know. He only appeared in the first one. I'm willing to, because I do remember in this movie, they showcased him young when Captain America was in the Civil Wars, and then years later, he finds out that uh, some of his soldiers are dead, but Bucky's still alive, and, you know, he's an old man, so I'm only going to be willing to believe after this they're going to showcase the man who voiced old man Bucky. You'll see what I'm talking about. So they got a super weapon. They got one too. But, like I said, thumbs up. So, oh, they didn't show it? Oh. They didn't showcase it. Wow. They didn't showcase old man Bucky. That's... Kind of disappointing. Maybe it was the same guy. Maybe it was James Arnold Taylor that voiced him as, as Old Man Bucky, too. I don't know. But whatever. But anyway, uh, yes. Uh, thumbs up for Crispin Freeman. Yeah, I nearly almost forgot that Winter Soldier was in Marvel Ultimate Alliance as well. You confront him at some point. You confront him and Radioactive Man. And there's actually also a thing where you can get, like, discs, whatever, and you can unlock solo missions that talk about some of the superheroes as old days when they used to do some battles like they tell a story and there's one we can get for captain america where he talks about what at one point he had to stop the winter soldier from doing something so it's pretty cool and i didn't even have any idea that crispin freeman was the one who actually voiced him that's hard to believe but cool though crispin freeman i do like him as well i really I, he in my iron man voice comparison he was my second favorite voice actor for video game and animated wise iron man because i thought he sounded just as good as the the guy who voiced him in uh, Earth's Mighty Seals Avengers, you know, because they sound almost like close to being as good as Robert Downey Jr., you know. And Crispin Freeman, I think, was also Spider-Man, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was a Spider-Man at one point in one of the Spider-Man games, yeah. Pretty good stuff as well, yeah. But he's not a bad voice actor either. He's, Crispin Freeman's pretty good as well. You always were lucky. Who else could have survived falling into the ocean and then be thawed out decades later? It's my mission. And as I remember, missions were always the most important thing to you. No matter who had to die to accomplish them. Huh. Take a powder, wise guy. 23's to do. He disappeared. Hold on. He was in Superhero Squad. Wow, okay. Never would have expected to believe that Bucky Barnes would even be in Superhero Squad. Jeez, I guess they included almost every Marvel character in here. He probably wouldn't. I didn't even think he there would even be a Superhero Squad Bucky. That's hard to believe that he appeared in the series. That's really, really hard to believe. Wow, Bucky Barnes was even in Superhero Squad. Wow. I mean, I'll give it a thumbs up because that voice was actually pretty good. When you're voicing Bucky, you know, back in his old days when he was just a young kid and, you know, he was Captain America's sidekick, then you definitely need to have a young voice for him because he was a kid when he started, you know, so. And that sounded pretty good. Rod Keller definitely uh, sounded like a kid for Bucky, so that's good. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Super Heel Squad at all, but that voice was good, so I'll give it a thumbs up. Because that really is a good voice, you have to admit. Even if you're not a Super Heel Squad fan. Not a bad looking design for him either, even though the Super Heel Squad designs aren't the best when it comes to the Super Heels, but that doesn't look too bad for Bucky, honestly. It really looks a lot more like a kid in this cartoon form. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh my god. I literally forgot about that. I mean, I didn't forget that Bucky was in Earth's Mighty Heroes Avengers as both Bucky Barnes and the Winter Soldier, but 
I completely forgot that apparently Scott M Minville was actually the man behind Bucky Barnes in in the ep in the first season when they talked about it was an episode Meet Captain America where it talked about Captain America's early uh, World War days. Obviously, you know you have to start with the stories, the origin stories, and you know it talked about Captain America and that one episode Meet Captain America and yeah, this was the episode where this was the only time Scott Minville voiced Bucky because this is the only appearance you see Bucky Barnes as you know, the kid form. He was a kid, you know, and he teamed with Captain as his sidekick. But yeah, I literally completely forgot that it was Scott Menville behind the voice for young Bucky. That's like I said, he appeared like I said, Bucky's also in this series as Winter Soldier, so they'll showcase that as well. I know that for sure. But yeah, that's hard to believe it was Scott Menville. Scott Menville will always be remembered. He will always be Robin from Teen Titans. That will always be his number one goal, because Everybody remembers him as Robin from Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go as well, even though a lot of people don't like Teen Titans Go, but, you know, you can say both of them, you know what I mean? But, yeah, he's perhaps one of my favorite animated voice actors for Robin, you know? Uh, Scott Minville has one of the best animated voices for Dick Grayson's Robin, for that matter, because, you know, in Teen Titans, you know, while his hair is spiky, it's really Dick Grayson, you know? So, yeah. But, yeah, Scott Minville really has an incredible voice when it comes to Dick Grayson's Robin and Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. And I'm pretty sure he's voiced him in other series as well. I don't know. I'm really not sure. But I'm sure he probably did in other series. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's pretty cool stuff, though. But that's really what his, he'll always be remembered as, as Robin. But even his voice works for Scott, uh, for Bucky Barnes as well. That young voice. Because you can hear he's pretty much still talking like Robin. That's pretty much still him using his Robin voice right there to voice... Uh, Bucky, but it works, you know, it really works for young Bucky, so it's pretty cool how he gets to use his Robin voice to voice uh, Bucky Barnes for this one-time only appearance episode of young Bucky Barnes, you know, so it works, I'll give him a thumbs up, probably double thumbs up for that matter, if you're talking about maybe some of my favorite voices for young Bucky Barnes, this would have to be probably my favorite one, because it's Scott Minville, you know, because I love Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go, you know, because Scott Minville is great as Robin, and plus, you know, I love that show anyway, or Avengers Earth's Mighty Heroes, you know I love that show, so of course you know anything from that show I'm going to give it a thumbs up to, double thumbs up. Yep, and there's the Winter Soldier. Thumbs up to him as well, John Curry. Thumbs up to him as well. That's him as Winter Soldier, he grows up. Still pretty much almost looks the same, he kind of almost looks a little bit different, he looks just a little different, but yeah, pretty cool stuff too. Unfortunately for me, I don't really actually get the opportunity to see Bucky Barnes as Winter Soldier that much in the series, because I didn't watch the whole entire series when it was on DVD at Family Video. I've only seen only one episode where uh, Bucky Barnes was the Winter Soldier, and that was when he was disguised as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent to steal the Hulk's blood to combine it with human blood to, like, create the Red Hulk blood, and, you know, it helped General Ross become the Red Hulk, and, you know, they were manipulating the Hulk, you know, for a long time, you know, trying to expose him as a villain when he was really a hero, and, you know, this was General Ross's way of, uh, depowering the Hulk, whatever you call it, you know, so he was in charge, you know, Winter Soldier was the man behind, you know, creating the Red Hulk for this series, he gave, he made the blood, the Red Hulk blood, and transform General Ross into Red Hulk, so he's the man behind it in this series, so it's pretty cool and interesting how Winter Soldier was the one who pretty much made the Red Hulk, you know, I mean, like, not really creator made him, but, you know, help made him, because, you know, he gave the, the, the blood, and, you know, you know, he gave it to General Ross, and he becomes the Red Hulk, you know what I'm saying? So, he kind of made him, you know what I'm saying? Sort of, but, yeah, thumbs up to him as well, even though that was the only episode I... Because, like I said, that was the only episode I saw Winter Soldier in this show, Earth's Mighty Heroes Avengers, where he made the, where he helped General Ross become the Red Hulk. That was the only episode, that's it. Because I haven't watched this whole entire series, obviously I haven't seen Winter Soldier's appearance in any of the other episodes. But, when I do get to watch the whole series, I will eventually see it at some point. So, even though I haven't heard this voice for Bucky Barnes' Winter Soldier very long, I'll still go and give a thumbs, double thumbs up. Because, like I said, I love that show. You can't go wrong with that show. Because I've heard it before, and listen to that. Stop calling me that! Stop! We were supposed to be a team. This is my reward for being your partner? 
No one can help me, Rogers. Love that voice, man. Because when you're Winter Soldier, he's kind of got a little darker voice of evil, so that's pretty cool, too. John Curry would have to be one of my favorite voices when it comes to Bucky Barnes as the Winter Soldier. When you're talking about Bucky Barnes as Winter Soldier. Because I'm probably going to have to list down everybody, you know, as young Bucky Barnes, and then, you know, sidekick Bucky Barnes, and then Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes, since there's two different Buckys in this voice comparison. But it's still the same, man, but you know what I mean. You don't need a hero. You need a soldier. If this thing is in a bomb, Winter Soldier, five by five, boots on the ground. Well, just like old times, huh, Steve? Okay, last for it, pal. Winter I guess it's all right. I guess that's not a bad voice, even though, of course, as I said, not a fan of Superhero Squad, but I'll go and give a thumbs up. That's not too much of a bad voice there by Yuri Lorento. God, I'm surprised it was Yuri Lorento who voiced him. I was not expecting that, but. Yeah, his voice was alright, I couldn't tell at first, but I'll go and give a thumbs up. That's not too bad for Bucky, for Winter Soldier, so I'll give Yuri Lamento a thumbs up. Even though, of course, you know I love Yuri Lamento way better as Spider-Man, especially when it comes to the PS4 game and the upcoming Spider-Man 2 PS5 game with Miles Morales as Spider-Man. So, he will always be Spider-Man, Yuri Lamento. But as Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier there, he sounded alright, so, sure. Bob Burgeon. Hey, it turned up. I can't hear. Now, here's somebody standing in my way. Next time, it won't be on stun, Steve. Yep, that's good. Sorry, I had to turn it up because I was having a hard time hearing, but that's good. I like that. Yes. Love the look of it, too. Look at that little picture right there of Winter Soldier. Pretty good view as they were. Of course! Heck yeah! Wow, I'm glad. Thank God he put him in here. What is a Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes voice comparison video without the man himself, Sebastian Stan, man? It wouldn't be the same without him, man. Sebastian Stan's the man, bro. Like, come on. Since 2011, when he was first hired by Marvel, he has gone on to make such an impact as the character since then, and he still continues playing him even, even, uh... Even 12 years later, he's still playing as him. It's hard to believe he's been the character for that long. You know, 12 years in the making. Well, he was like him at first, but then it took him a few years later when they decided to make Captain America Winter Soldier where he would reappear and return in the Marvel. But, you know, still, he's kind of been the character for that long, you know what I'm saying? So almost like 12 years, he's been known as the character, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, Sebastian Stan, man, the one and only... I mean, come on, man. Like I said, this wouldn't have been the same if he was not included. And who other else are you going to list down as your favorites for Bucky Barnes slash the Winter Soldier? Th that man right there, Sebastian Stan, he is Bucky Barnes. He is the Winter Soldier. Like, case in point. So I almost was unsure if it was the same man who played him in Captain America, uh... The first Avenger in 2011 or not, but thank goodness they used the same man, because it's just, you know, Bucky just appears so different when he returns as the Winter Soldier, because he gets longer hair, you know, his appearance is different, so it's really hard to tell, but of course it was still the same man. Yep, and there you go. God, it's great to see just how awesome he's been as Winter Soldier and Bucky Barnes. He's gone on to make such a great impact, man. I mean... Uh, I don't have more to say. There's really just not more to say because Sebastian Stan is the Winter Soldier. He is Bucky Barnes, man. Anyway, so that's it for this video for Generation West's video. So now it's gonna head on over, head on over to Generation uh, the Behemoth 89's video and check out the other guys he's got included in his video that Generation West didn't hear, as usual. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here we are. Gen uh, Behilith 89's video of the Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes voice comparison. He only titled it as Winter Soldier. He didn't title it as Bucky Barnes, but whatever. So I'm only willing to believe that in this version, it's probably just only going to be Bucky Barnes as the Winter Soldier. It's probably not going to include him as Bucky Barnes when he was a kid. I'm just guessing for a fact because it's only just Winter Soldier. It's not titled as, as Bucky Barnes. Yeah, I could tell because, look, they don't have a... Yeah, they're not including, like... Yeah, they're not including the young Bucky voices, so yeah, it's only just 
it's only just it's only just the uh, Winter Soldier version of Bucky. So in this video, they don't have young Bucky voices. They only have Winter Soldier Bucky voices. So we're only going to be checking out a remainder of people that have voiced Winter Soldier Winter Bucky. Soldier. Anyway, let's see. I did that for me. Fury had no part of it. Oh, his hair is a little shorter complete. in this game. Drop the small talk and focus on the mission. I pray that's the last. But it's yeah, never that's good. That's good. Not to mention the 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 voice actor David Hater. Uh, no, David Hater. Kind of almost looks like Death uh, Winter, Winter Soldier. So he kind of got the hair sight. going on. He probably Made would play a good Winter Soldier if he was to be hired. I can almost picture him as David. He really almost looks like he would be in Winter Soldier, man. Look at his hair. He kind of almost resembles him. Okay, move on. We already got to him. We already got to him. Hold on. Go back to Bob Bergen. Sorry, I'm kind of sweaty. Roger Craig Smith? Yeah, that's not bad. That's good. I'm not sure if I like that better than Bob Bergen or not. I might like that a little better. Roger Craig Smith was already starred in that series anyway, Avengers Assemble. He was already starred in that series because he played, uh... Hang on, let me turn the fan on. It's getting hot. I'm getting sweaty. Or actually, you know what? I can leave it off until I'm finished. Hold on. And then when I'm finished, I'll turn it back on. Sorry. But yeah, Roger Crick Smith already starred in Avengers Assemble. He was already voicing Captain America, so that's pretty cool that he got to voice Winter Soldier as well. That was a good voice. I like that. And Matt Lan Lanter as well? Wow, Matt Lanter as well? Jeez. I don't know what other movie roles he's had, but I only remember Matt Lanter from starring in that 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 movie called uh, Disaster Movie. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. It's a... It's kind of supposed to be an adulterated comedy-like movie. Basically, they're just making fun of characters like the Hulk is in it, Iron Man, Alvin the Chipmunks, Kung Fu Panda, Princess and uh, Princess and Ch Chanted. I don't know. Uh, who else is in that? Hellboy, uh, Justin Timberlake, Michael Jackson, uh, Beowulf, Hancock, Indiana Jones, High School Musical. Uh, Amy Winehouse, Jessica Simpson, uh, what's her name? Karma Electra's actually in that movie, but she plays as, like, a wrestler, kind of, but, so, you know, it's just basically just a comedy movie that's making fun of these iconic characters, you know, they're turning them, in, oh, yeah, and Ju Juno, uh, the pregnant teenage high school girl, whatever her name is, but, yeah, they're just making fun of these characters, you know, they're not, oh, Batman's in that series, too, yeah, Batman's in that movie, not series, I meant movie. But they're just making fun of these characters, and, you know, they, they're just, like, getting their asses handed to them and stuff. Like, it's just a comedy adult movie, you know. If you haven't seen Disaster Movie, you should check it out. But that's where I remember Matt Lanter starring in. He starred in that movie. I don't remember what his character's name was, but he was in that movie. That's all I can say. Oh, yeah, and I even forgot that Hannah Montana was even in that movie, too. <laughs> I'm just remembering the the ending song, because in the ending song, they go back and list down everybody that was in that movie, Flava Flav. It's funny. It's pretty funny. I actually saw that when I was a kid. I wasn't really supposed to. I just only wanted to watch that movie because the Hulk and Iron Man and other iconic characters were in that movie. But I could care less, you know. But anyway, that's what I remember Matt Lanter being in. But wow, he was Winter Soldier as well. That means you know my specialty. <laughs> I'm going to make you pay for what you did to Steve. Run. All you that's want. great too, yes. I will never stop! I wonder how many voice actors. I wonder how many people there were that voiced Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier, and Avengers Assemble. We had Bob Bergen, Roger Craig Smith, and now Matt Lanter. There were three people that have voiced him. And they all sound pretty good. I gave all of them a thumbs up Bob Bergen, Roger Craig Smith, and Matt Lanter. Oh, here we go. Now we're moving on. Lego Marvel Avengers. Alright, yep, fair enough, because, uh. I kind of forgot, I think. I think I kind of did forget he was in Lego Marvel Avengers. I don't know. But. Yeah, fair enough, though. That was a fun game as well. Very fun game. I think I got through it. Yeah, I got through it, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. That was a good quest. That was a, a, a good game. Lego Marvel Avengers was pretty fun on the Wii U. Yeah, 
Yeah. And you can even play as uh, Winter Soldier as Bucky Barnes when he was young. You know, you can travel back in the past. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, you know what? He was in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. I kind of did forget about that. Yeah, he was. I literally did completely forgot he was in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. I don't know how I forgot, but yeah, he was in that game. Sorry, I'm getting tired. Again, if anyone is listening out there, I don't know how I forgot. It was a success. At least until Modoc and his but yeah, that's good too. I'll give a thumbs up to uh, Ray Chase. Who 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 remember who's played this game? Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three: The Black Order. If you like, if, and tell me if you like the game or not. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this game. Cause there's some people I'm pretty sure that liked it, like me, and then there's probably others that probably wish they never made a third one. Cause I heard some people kind of wish that they didn't make a Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 game and they just ended off the franchise with the second one years ago. It kind of was crazy that they finally decided to bring the franchise back with a third one, but you know, it was still a fun game though, but some people wish they didn't. But anyway, that was the last one, so that's everybody. So that was all the voices for uh, Bucky Barnes and Winter Soldier, so... Uh, we're gonna have to start off with Young Bucky, since there isn't that many voices for Young Bucky, so, when it comes to Young Bucky Barnes, uh, obviously Scott Menville is probably the only favorite that I have for Young Bucky Barnes, he's probably my only favorite for Young Bucky, it's probably just him, so yeah, it's just him, Scott Menville, I mean, even though that guy in Super Hero Squad was good too, but, really, Scott Menville is my only personal favorite when it comes to Young Bucky Barnes, because his Robin voice from Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go really works for Bucky Barnes as a young kid as well, so, it's only him, it's only Scott Menville that I have as my only favorite for Young Bucky Barnes, uh, sidekick Bucky Barnes, you know what I mean? It's probably only him. And then when it comes to Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes, uh... Obviously, for live action, I mean, even, as both as both young Bucky Barnes, a sidekick, and as Winter Soldier, obviously, you know my li live action favorite. You already know the drill with Sebastian Stan. Case in point, Sebastian Stan's the only live action Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, so you know it's going to be him. And then for animated and video game wise, Bucky's, um, I'm going to pick, uh, I'll go with, uh, there was, a, there was a lot of good ones, but I'll go with John Curry. Um, I'm gonna pick John Curry. So John Curry, um, I guess I'll give it to all the guys that voiced him in Avengers Assemble as well. Bob Bergen, um, Roger Craig Smith, uh, Matt Lanter. I'm probably gonna give it to all of them because they all did a pretty good job. Probably all of them. I don't know. I, I'll probably give it to all of them, I guess, I don't know, but really when it comes down to it, it's really only John Curry that's my personal favorite for animated and video game wise voices, because I don't watch and play that many games, you know, with him and video games and animated series, so it's probably only John Curry that I have as my favorite for, for, live, for animated and video game wise Winter Soldier. It's probably only him. There was other guys that did good too, like Crispin Freeman, and like I said, all those guys in Avengers Assemble, uh, Matt Lanter, Roger Kirk Smith, and Bob Bergen, they were all great too, but it's probably just John Curry because of Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers. It's probably just him only, so obviously that makes a total of three, so Sebastian Stan, Scott Menville, and John Curry are my three personal favorites for Bucky Barnes and the Winter Soldier. All three of them. Obviously, uh, John Curry and Sebastian Stans as my favorites for, you know, Winter Soldier. And then, same thing, Sebastian Stan and Scott Menville as both young Bucky Barnes. Even though in, in, in the, in the uh, Captain America First Avenger, uh, First Avengers, uh, Sebastian Stan's Bucky Barnes wasn't a kid. But, you know, he was still sidekick, you know. But, whatever. You, you get the point. So, it doesn't matter what which version of Bucky we're talking about. It's the same thing. So... That's my three personal favorites for Bucky Barnes, ladies and gentlemen. Sebastian Stan, Scott Menville, and John Curry. It's all three of those guys. So, now it's time for y'all to vote now. Leave a comment down below and even start a conversation on who you love as Bucky Barnes slash the Winter Soldier. And don't forget to share it with all your friends so you can get their opinions as well. This was another interesting video. Uh, you know, as I said, these voice comparison videos are great. I'm glad I started checking them out because I was unsure years ago if I wanted to or not because there were so many different characters I could check out. But I'm glad I do because, you know, these are entertaining as heck, you know, just to go through all these people. But... Anyway, so when I'm back with another video, we'll find out who the next character will be. But until then, I'm out of here. I need to go ahead and get some fresh air because it is hot.
Woo! And it took me 34 minutes to make this video as well because I had so much to say and more. But anyway, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time for the next voice comparison video uh, or whatever video I decide to make. You know what I mean? <laughs> but never mind. I'm out of here. So that'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Just like to give it a thumbs down. Join me next time for the next video. To all you boys, men, and guys up there. Oh, boom. This one's good to all of you. And to all the girls, ladies, and women out there. Kisses go to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off. And have a good day.